Thanks for uh, stopping by to watch this second video in the horse uh, in the race to base uh, software. Now this one is showing you the Excel um, side of it. So once you've um, clicked on the export all races, it saves it in this format that you're looking at now. Now this is not going to be a lesson on how to use Excel. I'm assuming that uh, you know a little bit about it and you can pick up a bit as I go. The thing with the export of it after 11.30 at night is that you do have all the results, prices, etc. So I just want to show you just a few things that you can do. Obviously there's other things, but let's have a look. If you haven't watched the first video, uh, it may pay to do so. But in this one here, what, I'm, what I like to do is go to the data, click on data, oh, before I do that, I'll highlight the headings. So all the headings, I just click on the very side so all the headings are highlighted. Go to data, then go to filter, and if you click on filter, you can see now we've got little arrows that are controlling each column of this database. Now the first thing, uh, obviously, that we could do, if you wanted to, is we would just select UK, so I just select those two. This is the race day of the 24th. Okay, so by selecting that, we're only ending up now as I scroll down there. These are all UK races, and I've got it set from the highest to lowest, so it's coming in in the times. So from two o'clock in the afternoon right through. So that's all the data there, and if we scroll across, what you'll see. Here across the end is essentially from from here ex except the naps but all through there these are the columns that are added after 11:30 at night the software updates gives you all the results um, the headings are self-explanatory what they are so the obvious filter that you would use here would be on the win column you can click on the win. You don't want the blanks and you don't want the losers. We only want the winners. And if we click on that, we have now only the winners showing in our Excel sheet. So from there, we can go back and have a look at some research if we want to. Um, obviously, we've got here... 35 races, I think if we look down the corner there, 35 races, and we can see the morning favourite, one, two, three, four, five, just put this down here, five of those 35 races were the morning favourite, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight of them were the Betfair favourite. So there's something just straight off, um, with a couple of clicks of a mouse we've seen there there's been two winners that had two naps there and there okay so you can um, deduce how much you think of the naps next thing we look at Betfair starting price we can go we want to go lowest to highest so if we click on that we now get the lowest Betfair starting price for the day was uh, 2.48 and the highest starting price for the day was £41 winner there. And we can see out of the 35 races, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, only 6 horses were over £10 for the win. So this is the sort of things that you can look at um, as you go about doing some research on different courses, etc., different jockeys. We can go and um, if we go by jockey, we can sort from A to Z and we can see the jockeys. So we can see A Kirby had two wins, B Curtis had two wins, Kathy Gannon had two wins, uh, Egan had three, Spencer had two. So they are just some of the things that you can look at um, as you go about doing your research. We can look at uh, country of runners. We can just go to Ireland. We know there was 35 races. Now we go 
we can see out of those 35 races, 19 of them were won by Irish horses. So once again, these are valuable little tips that can help you. Um, if we look at, um, and we can just go back and clear the filter, so we're back to the UK and all that. There's a column here, if we look at this column here, the last form, we can see that there's a little green square there. And if we click on it, it tells us that that it's um, stored as a text number. So for example, if we wanted to get last form start, we'd have to highlight this column because they won't all sort by text. Click on that, convert to number. Okay, it's converting. The reason it's taking a while is because it's converting all the ones that aren't showing as well. And what we could look at then is we could go to last form and we could go, we only want to see that before. But you can see two, zero, two, three, four. So yesterday, out of yesterday's winners, none of them were last start winners. Just another thing that you pick up when you have results in that like this. Now you can uh, save this one and then you can put the next day's racing or the day before's racing and you can see what sort of patterns are forming um, as you go. So as I said, it's a very valuable search tool as well as uh, information tool uh, before racing starts, but certainly post racing, it does give you a lot of things that you can look at. If we just cancel that, if we go over here, another good comparison is the morning odds column here along with the SP starting price. Now, depending on your skills, you could do, say like a little formula here, you could put uh, equals SP divided by morning price, enter. We could see here, if we go through and just highlight the column, and if we formatted that column, format, format the cells, and we just want to go to a percentage. Okay. So we can see here, if we look at it, Anything under 100% means that the price firmed in. Anything over 100% means it drifted out. So we can see here of those 35 races, um, of the winners there, of the 35, so that's um, about, six, what's that, about 66 percent of all the winners drifted out from their opening morning price. Okay, and um, so that's something, you, you know, just having that little bit of knowledge like that is always very valuable. So I hope you find um, this little video on how the Excel works afterwards. The other thing too is you may find that you don't want, you may find that you don't want weight, you don't want beaten favorite, um, the columns that you don't want, you can actually highlight and just go to hide. And what it does, obviously, it brings more and more of the spreadsheet into view, you know, without re without reducing it, without going to view uh, 100%. Uh, is uh, This column here is the last date of run, so we can go click on that, and we can go smallest to largest. We can see there one winner was only two days between races, six days, etc. Six days. Um, some of there were obviously first start winners, uh, first race winners, yeah, first start winners, and down to 242 days on this one here. So I hope you enjoyed this little video on how to use the Excel results from. Uh, from race debase uh, and if you wanted to bring all the columns back just highlight the area and put unhide and all those ones that we hid are back again okay so on behalf of michael and myself steve thanks for watching this video 
and we hope that you find uh, some value in race to base to uh, make a very modest investment to have the software working for you each and every day. If you ever wanted your own database, then this is a very, very good entry level.